Oh my God, I've never felt so much pain in my life. Sweaty crap to have gone. Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna tell you a story about how I got my ass kicked pretty badly, like in Muay Thai. This goes a long way back to when I was 25 years old, starting out at Mahito University, first time I started doing Muay Thai and at Kirbikabam. What's important to understand about the story is a few things. One, I was a beginner, and two, I had never really fought before this scenario. So to give some context to the story, I was studying Muay Thai on the bottom floor of Mahidon University for the International Student Building. On the weekends or on some other off days, I would also study Kabikabong with uh, Budai Swan School with Crew Arts, which is where you see some of these videos that I've been working on. After about two months, uh, me and my friends felt a little more confident to be able to spar with each other. And so about once a week, we would at least join up and like start, you know, punching and, you know, put on the gloves and like, you know, uh, practice our kicks a little bit, but not to 100%. And because we weren't doing it 100%, we were also getting pretty cocky about it too. Like, you know, whenever I'd land a kick, even though it didn't hurt my friend, I felt pretty good about myself. And even when I got punched too, even though since it wasn't at 100%, I didn't feel the entire pain. In fact, if anything, the pain kind of got me a little bit more motivated to fight more. I should also be clear to understand that in the uh, Muay Thai club, even though there was plenty of gentlemen there, there was a lot of, for some reason, a lot of beautiful Thai women who were also practicing. I think more for self-defense, but at the same time, there were plenty of, plenty of these gorgeous women, so when we'd spar against each other, we'd feel a little bit more like, you know, hey, look at me. So a new guy comes in, and he actually starts training with us, and he starts sparring a little bit with us, and he actually is much heavier, much bigger, and it good way, like he's like a bodybuilder. As usual, me and my friends start sparring a little bit, we're doing, like, say, I'm only doing it at about 50%. And this gentleman wants to join in. We have no problem with that because you know, more people to spar with, the more experience you get all around. Me and him start. We, me and him face off, and we start like you know, swerving around, getting a little bit of a few jabs in, you know, just to, trying to get a warm, a little warmed up. And he throws a tight kick at me. Now again, this is at 50 percent. So anything that he's doing, I'm able to kind of see what's going on in this case. And so one of the things that you can do for a tight kick, aside from dodging it in that way, is to literally catch it, but you also have to slide with it. So you catch it and you slide this way, and that leaves him to either fall down or you can jab him in the face. There's a lot of things you can do with this one, or like, you know, it's a really good move to use. Anyway, at this point I had caught his kick, I had slid across the floor, he was going down, and I had a quick opportunity to pop him in the face. I got him right here in the nose too, so he must have felt it a little bit extra at that point. I felt pretty great about that. I've never actually caught a kick before. That's famous Muay Thai kick. I've never actually done that. I've always had to avoid it. There were a few things that I didn't quite grasp. One of them was I don't think I realized how hard I hit him in the face. Um, when I was going 50%, the nose area, this hurts whenever you get hit. It doesn't really matter what you say, a small amount or a little bit. The nose hurts when you hit it. The next thing to understand is, is that I had just knocked this big guy down while hitting him in the face, while making him look stupid in, in terms of what he thought looked stupid in front of all these gorgeous women. And then the last thing to understand is that whole scenario, the fact that I was able to catch his kick, the fact that I was able to pop him in the face, the fact that we were doing so well, and the fact that throughout the last few weeks when we, I was sparring, I was actually doing pretty good, I thought at least. So, therefore, my confidence went a little too high. He gets back up, I uh, shake his hand, we're like, we're good, and he goes, yeah, we're, yeah, 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 we're fine, we're fine. And then we start sparring again. I didn't realize how angry I had made him, so when we started squaring off again, he threw the kick again. It is really important to understand this about Muay Thai kicks. A Muay Thai kick, when done right and well, is literally the equivalent of swinging a baseball bat into somebody. He went for the classic Muay Thai kick, and he did it perfectly well. His form was great. What I didn't understand is that he had done it at 100%. Me thinking that he was going to do it at 50%, seeing him do that exact same move again, I went to catch it again. So let's do the math. We have a bodybuilder swinging a Muay Thai kick at 100%, which again, at 100% is the equivalent of swinging a baseball bat, and I am trying to catch it, which means that I'm leaving my whole side here open to grab the leg. I don't really know how to explain the sound. It was almost like air coming out of a balloon while simultaneously trying to scream for help. So it went something along like this. <laughs> 
He had connected his leg with my ribs and my body just started to collapse. But this is not the end of the story. While my body was engaged with the whole pain aspect of it, air was gone. I had lost it all. I had just, he just knocked the wind right out of me. As I'm going down trying to breathe, <gasps> he seriously trying to breathe, I'm like, <gasps> as I'm going down, he winds back up, pops me in the face, good one right here, like back in the nose, but again, still at 100%. So I'm literally just gasping for air. I'm getting knocked in the face simultaneously. My body was literally just horizontal, and then I just crashed. And on the ground, I'm just like, <gasps> I'm just not even making sense. And on top of this, you know, in my own regret, it was also in front of the beautiful women. So, once he was done, he was back in this position and he was ready to go on to another fight only to realize what he had done and just his face went from being all serious to being like, oh my god! He ended up trying to pick me up and he's trying to like, are you okay? You know, and like I think the tight term is like, my jib, my jib, which is like, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. So he's picking me up and I'm on the side and he's like trying to get me to some water and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. He's saying, keep walking, keep walking. I'm just like trying to guess for air. By the end of it, I just remember just hanging on him for a little bit there as he's splashing water on me, trying to get me away. And I, I tap him and I just go, you want? That was the worst thing I remember ever feeling in terms of it, but it did teach me a little bit of a lesson. Number one, don't get too cocky, but number two, the effectiveness of that Muay Thai kick is strong. It hurts. So anyway, but another thing to understand is that when you get into a fight or if you're doing a challenge, if you're, you're going to lose at times, and it's probably good that you do lose. It is not the first time that I've lost a fight. In fact, I would say that probably, I would say 100% of my fights that I fought, I would I have lost. So I'm not good at fighting. I'm tr I try my best, but it's not my best thing to do. But the only thing you can do to be good at fighting is you have to keep fighting. Anyway, guys, I hope you found that story interesting. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good time.